Okay, is the second sum. X and Y are correlated variables. Uh, 10 observations of the values of X and Y are as follows. Sigma X is 55. As you can see here, sigma y also 55, sigma x y 350, sigma x squared 385. Predict the value of y when x equals to 6. So, so this sum is about prediction. Okay. So we will find the required equation, regression equation, and also we will predict. Okay. Great. So <clears throat> look at this here. Since we have to predict y, that is y, when x equals to 6, x equals to 6 here. So you are to predict y when x equals to 6. So when you have to predict y, what do you need? You need y on x. You need y on x. And when you uh, predict x, you would need x on y. Remember that I was talking about it earlier also. Uh, equation 1, equation 2, that theory is already there. When you have to predict y, you just need y on x. When you have to predict x, you just need x on y. Remember this, okay? So if that is the case, then let's start the sum. <clears throat> uh, so I need y on x. I just need simply y on x. But looking at the values, look at the values one more time. Sigma x, sigma y, x y and x square is given. So which formula would be apt? There is no way I can use the a and b formula with assumed means. Uv formula is not apt here because... Uh, I don't have uh, the series, I don't have the table of data. I just have the total of sigma, a, a total of x, total of y, xy and sigma x square. So the best formula here would be this one. And remember again, since we are calculating y on x, I need bxy. So I will directly do it. bxy, sorry, sorry, not bxy, byx. byx. So <clears throat> um, byx equals to, the formula is, sigma xy, the second formula, uh, sigma xy minus sigma x into sigma y divided by n, whole divided by sigma, the sec second one here, x, x square minus sigma x whole square by n, okay? Okay, great. Let's put the values in place. So what do I have? Uh, sigma xy, sigma xy is 350. 350 uh, minus 55 into 55 divided by uh, 10 because there are 10 observations. So divided by sigma x square is 385 uh, minus 55 whole square divided by 10. Okay, great. So what do I have here? So that's 350 uh, minus 3025 if you multiply 55 and 55 divided by 10 you can use calculator then 385 minus again 3025 divided by 10 okay so i'll continue here so i have 350 uh, minus 302.5 divided by 385 minus 302.5 by dividing by 10 that would give me um, 47.5 divided by 82.5 and when you divide it using the calculator you'll get 0 0.5757 I'll round it up to two decimal that will be 0 0.58 so that is B X Y, y X sorry B Y X okay great now what will I do is I will find therefore regression equation of y on x i need y on x because i need to predict y is y minus y bar equals to uh, b y x x minus x bar okay so let me see what do i know i know what is b y x but i have no idea what is these two x bar and y we haven't found x bar and y bar so let's calculate x bar and y bar first so how to find x bar? x bar is sigma x divided by n. So how much was sigma x? That's 55 divided by mm, uh, 10. By the way, the total number of observation is 10. Okay. Here it's mentioned 10 observation. Okay. So that would give me 5.5. Mm, Similarly, mm, y bar would be also sigma y divided by n that would be 55 by 10 and that's 5.5 so both are 
So I'll put it here now. So y minus 5.5 equals to 0 0.58 x minus 5.5. So do your calculation y minus 5.5 equals to multiply 0 0.58 x if you multiply then multiply these two this will give me uh, 3.19 then y minus 5 sorry I won't do this so let me transpose y equals to 0 0.58 x minus 3.19 plus 5.5 so finally, what do I have? Y equals to 0 0.58X plus, if you do this, you'll get 2.31. Okay, so here I have 2.31. So now, so this is the regression equation of Y on X. Regression equation of Y on X. Now time to predict. So how do you predict? <clears throat> okay, so we have, I'll do it here. Uh, y equals to 0 0.58x plus 2.31. That's it. Okay. So to predict the values of y when x is given, I will use this equation. Okay. I'll use this one. So when x equals to uh, 6, it was 6 earlier. x was 6. So look at the question. You predict the value of y when x equals to 6. So when x equals to 6, so let's see what will be y. y will be equals to 0 0.58 into 6 plus 2.31. So let's multiply and see what do you get. That would give me 3.48 plus 2.31. And when you simplify it, that is 5.79. So that would be your answer okay so again i'm repeating so you don't need to find both the regression equations if it is not asked in the question look at this here they have only said predict the value of y when x equals to 6 so whichever equation is necessary just calculate that if you have to find y when x is given you need to calculate uh, you need to find y on x if y was given and x was missing then you would have to find x on y okay